eighteen hundred hours Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Daman Zaman. The headlines. The Foreign Officers' discussion on the Kashmir dispute at the United Nations Security Council for the third time in a year is a testimony to the fact that it is neither an internal affair of India nor a bilateral issue. The President has stressed the need for exporting indigenously manufactured value-added products to enhance exports and earn foreign exchange. The Planning Minister has said COVID-19 pandemic has greatly been controlled due to the effective strategy of the government institutions. In the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the old party's Huryat Conference has thanked the people and government of Pakistan for expressing exemplary solidarity with the oppressed people of the territory on Yom Istisal yesterday. China has expressed serious concern about the current situation in the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. The United Nations has called on the international community to make efforts to create a future free from nuclear threat. And now the news in detail. The Foreign Officer's discussion on the Kashmir dispute at the United Nations Security Council for the third time in a year is a testimony to the fact that it is neither an internal affair of India nor a bilateral issue. At the weekly news briefing in Islamabad today, the Foreign Office spokesperson Aisha Farooqi said Kashmir is an international dispute that needs to be resolved as per the United Nations Security Council resolutions. The spokesperson said voices in support of the Kashmiri people rang across the globe, marking the one year of the illegal action by India and the continued brutalization and disenfranchisement of the Kashmiri people. She said Turkey, China, OIC, United Nations Human Rights Council, and United Nations experts on human rights voiced their concern on the blatant human rights violations in the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, and protest rallies were held in London, Paris, Brussels, and Houston on the occasion of Yom Istisal to condemn the atrocities unleashed by the occupation forces. The spokesperson categorically rejected the Indian statement on Pakistan's political map saying India cannot create a smokescreen for its illegal and unacceptable actions in the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. The President, Dr. Arif Alvi, has stressed the need for exporting indigenously manufactured value-added products to enhance the exports and earn foreign exchange. Addressing the International Rawal Expo virtual conference, he said exporting value-added products will benefit a number of sectors and enhance foreign exchange of the country. He emphasized the need for better communications between the Chamber of Commerce and Pakistani missions abroad and urged the Chamber of Commerce to give their input to improve the marketing of Pakistani products abroad. The president said the government is working to enhance the production of key crops in the country. The planning minister, Asad Umar, says COVID-19 pandemic has greatly been controlled due to the effective strategy of the government institutions. Briefing about the National Coordination Committee meeting, he said the people of Pakistan are the real heroes in defeating the pandemic as they strictly followed the standard operating procedures to check the spread of COVID-19. He appreciated untiring efforts of the doctors and paramedics in fighting the pandemic as frontline soldiers. He said the strategy of smart lockdown adopted by Pakistan is appreciated by the other countries and they are also learning from the experience of Pakistan. The minister said the meeting decided that all the educational institutions will be reopened on 15th of next month after a final review by the Ministry of Education on the 7th of September. He said cinema halls and hospitality sector, including hotels and restaurants, will be opened on Monday, whereas tourism sector will start functioning from Saturday. Asad Umar said marriage halls will be allowed to function from the 15th of September, whereas beauty parlors will be allowed to reopen from Monday as well. Asad Umar said 
standard operating procedures have been devised regarding Muharram ul Haram in consultation with the religious scholars. He said all businesses and shops are allowed to resume functioning according to normal timings. The Council of Common Interests has unanimously approved alternative and renewable energy policy 2019. The approval was given at the 42nd Council of Common Interest meeting, which was held in Islamabad today, with the Prime Minister Imran Khan in the chair. The Special Assistant to the Prime Minister on Petroleum, Nadim Babur, gave a detailed presentation to the CCI on annual demand and supply situation of gas, with special reference to future requirements and dwindling domestic gas reserves. This is Radio Pakistan. In the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the All Parties Hurut Conference has thanked the people and the government of Pakistan for expressing exemplary solidarity with the oppressed people of the territory on Jomme Estesal. The All Parties Hurut Conference, in a statement in Sirinagar, said the people of the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir have been facing the worst kind of siege imposed by India since 5th of August last year, and Pakistan has effectively highlighted their miseries at the international level. It maintained that New Delhi committed constitutional terrorism on that day to deprive the Kashmiri people of their political, social and religious rights. The All Parties Harit Conference said Kashmiris have been fighting for their basic rights for the past over 72 years and expressed the hope that they would eventually succeed in defeating the tyranny of India. The Amnesty International has urged the Modi government to urgently stop the protracted clampdown in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. A statement issued by the Amnesty International on the completion of one year to the repeal of the special status of the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the human rights watchdog asked India to decongest prisons and launch a prompt and independent investigation into the attacks on journalists in the territory. The executive director of Amnesty International India, Avinash Kumar, said over the last one year, India has been systematically dismantling all avenues of justice for the people of illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. China's permanent representative to the United Nations, Yang Chun, has said China is seriously concerned about the current situation in the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. According to the Associated Press of Pakistan, Yang Chun said India unilaterally changed the status quo of Kashmir through constitutional amendments in August 2019, stoking tensions in the region. He said a year later there is no fundamental improvement, but a risk of further escalation in the situation of Kashmir. He said China opposes unilateral actions that will complicate the situation and calls on the relevant parties to exercise restraint and act prudently. In India, Congress leader Rahul Gandhi has said Narendra Modi is lying about India's border standoff with China, quoting a news report in which the Indian Ministry of Defense officially admitted to Chinese intrusion in Ladakh. Rahul Gandhi questioned on t Twitter as to why is the Prime Minister lying. Meanwhile, the Indian media is reporting that the document regarding Chinese intrusion has been removed from the website of the Indian Defense Ministry. The document was published on the ministry's website on Tuesday. The United Nations has called on the international community to make efforts to create a future free from the nuclear threat. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres, in a video message to Hiroshima Peace Memorial Ceremony, said the risk of nuclear weapons being used intentionally by accident or through miscalculation is too high. He said now is the time for dialogue, confidence-building measures, reductions in the size of nuclear arsenals and utmost restraint. And before we move on to the weather, we have news about cricket. On the second day of the first cricket test match against England at Old Trafford in Manchester, Pakistan in the first innings were 219 for the loss of five wickets a short while ago. Rain with wind and thunder showers is expected in Upper and Southern Punjab, Send Eastern Balochistan and Kashmir during the next 24 hours. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk. And you can also watch the live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.